In this video, we're going to look at the ternary operator and how you can use it to write more efficient code. If you normally write if else statements, then the ternary operator will really help to reduce the amount of code that you have to write. So let's begin with a very simple example and we'll set two variables at the beginning of our Ruby file. Now, the ternary operator can be used in many different languages. You can use it in JavaScript, Ruby, Python. So once you learn how to use it, you can apply it in many different languages. So now let's write a very basic if else statement. So let's say if the variable A is less than the variable B, then we'll assign a value to this result variable. We'll say A is less than B. And then alternatively, if A is not less than B, then we will return this different message. So now let's end this code block and we'll want to output the result just to show how this works. So in this case, we've written five lines to do a very simple assigning of this value to a variable. So the variable is assigned a value based on that one condition at the top. So now at the bottom of our file, I want to output the value of the result variable. So in order to do that, let's use the put string command. And I can shorten that just to one letter. So I want to output this result. And now if you run this in the terminal, it should give us A is less than B. So our conditional statement has returned true. So it's returned that first line in our code block. Now let's look at how we can do this in an even more simple way. So we've got five lines of code here just to output this simple value or just to assign this simple value to the result variable. A different way you can do that using the ternary operator is to do it all within one line. So using the ternary operator is a great decision if it's a simple if else statement like this. And it will literally cut your five lines down to one line of code. So for anyone that hasn't used the ternary operator before, this works using three separate arguments. So the first value that you would pass in is a conditional statement. And then you follow that with a question mark. So the question mark is saying that this is the true value. So what comes after the question mark is the code that gets executed if the statement is true. So in this case, we are assigning a value based on this ternary operator. So we're assigning this value to the result variable. So then you would add the colon followed by the false value or the false code that gets executed. So let's comment out this code above just so that it's very clear that that's not being interfered with. And we'll run the script again from the terminal. And you can see that we're getting the same result. Now you can achieve all that just using this one line of code rather than writing five lines of code like we did using the if else statement. So it's really cool for just like being able to do simple stuff really quickly. And you can also return different types of values. So in this case, I'm just going to return a true or false value. And instead of returning true or false, we could even pass in function names here that were called. Um, but if you're doing something simple like true or false, you don't actually need to use the ternary operator at all. So in this case, it would automatically be true. Let's look at another example of using it within JavaScript. So we're doing the exact same thing here. We're setting variables. We have an if else condition. And then at the bottom, we have our result being used in a ternary operator. And then we're just alerting that result at the end. So you can see that the syntax is almost the same between the Ruby example and the JavaScript example. So hopefully this concept has been helpful and you can use it when you're writing conditional statements like this. So that's about it for this video. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.